I been running, 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 gotta take me a bag I got hundreds on my neck and I got shoes on my ass Nigga said I'm going broke while I just take it and laugh I be speeding in that forum with 5 on my ass But I'm that nigga, I won't never change Rubbing off the pain, smoking dang Got a Uzi in my lap, I let it bang Free take. What is up, Skittles gang gang? So you already know, we back with another video I am sorry if that I haven't been posting any videos because a lot of stuff been going on but we will get to that in a few minutes and I'm sorry that I look a mess I'm in so much pain like really my whole body is hurting but I wanted to make a video because I was bored and because I know I haven't been making any videos lately so I was just like let's make a video like why not I haven't made a video in a while, so why not make a video? So, this video is my first mukbang. I think it's mukbang, 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 whatever it's called. I don't even know what it's called. But it's where you eat food and you just talk about stuff and you're just watching me eat. And I heard that a lot of people like watching YouTubers eat. And I was just like, hmm, that's something that I can do. And I got me so full. Yes, I got me some food. So, if you like this mukbang video and hear me talk my ish, because I'm finna run it in this video, like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at underscore dot lovely underscore skittles. And add me on Snapchat, M-I-Z-Z-L-A-J-H. 202 for more videos, ideas, and events. So let's go ahead and get on to this little mukbang. Today, mukbang, this is my first mukbang, so please, I might be talking random, but please. So we got Royal Farms, so we got the burger, the double cheese, it's a double cheeseburger with bacon. And you know we got the fries. And you know we got ketchup, because I'm going to need my ketchup for the fries. But I gotta get something to drink. Give me one minute. All right. So I got me something to drink. Got me something to drink, because I don't drink soda, and I keep, like, boxes of juice in my room, but got me something to drink. So, yeah, I got a double cheeseburger with bacon, and I got some fries, and some ketchup. So, I'm just trying to get all this stuff ready, because I didn't have, I ain't had none of this stuff ready. Hope y'all can see me. Oh, let me back this up. And let me back up. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, I hope y'all can see me because I don't know. But I'm trying to get all this stuff ready. Alright. So. I'm trying to see if I need more ketchup on my burger. This is good. Royal Farms got some good food. I love their chicken. But I always get chicken, so I was just like, let me just get a burger. Oh my god. Mm. Okay, anyway. So, y'all know it's summertime or whatever. And people like to wow out in the summertime. And people like to wild out in the summertime. So, let me tell y'all some stuff. So, 
my summer had been so good. Like I said, I'm still in school. So I passed to the 12th grade. So I'll, this year is my last year in school. And I was so happy when report cards came. Because I was so scared that I wasn't going to pass. And I was just like, yo, what if I don't pass? But I already knew I was going to pass because I passed all my exams. I had good grades. I'm just like, oh, I got this. I'm going to pass. But you know when you have dreams and you have guilty conscience and you got them weird behind teachers that be changing your grades as soon as you leave the school for summer? And you got them teachers that change your grades as soon as you leave for summer? And all types of stuff. And I've been having this dream where I'm asleep. I had this dream where I was in school and school, summer started. And I was hyped about report cards and all types of stuff. And I got my report card and I had all E's. I'm like, huh? So ever since I had that dream, I've been very worried about it. But your girl passed, so it doesn't even matter. I passed, so it doesn't matter. Okay, I passed, and so yeah, we got our report cards. And my summer really haven't really started yet because I have been looking for jobs and other stuff. But I had been hanging out with friends, and like I had to throw a baby shower for my sister and other stuff. And I went to the beach with my with my best friend. With my friend, well, she like she my cousin, but we're very close. But yeah, I went to I went to beach with one of my friends. And I stayed at her house, and it was very fun. It was very fun. Like I like spending time with her. But I need more people to hang with though, cause like everybody, I be seeing everybody going parties and stuff. Now, I know I'm a boring person. I know I'm a boring person, but. I need more people to hang with. I I want older people so I can go to parties and stuff like that and get lit and drink and stuff. I know I'm 18. I can't do really much, but at least have fun or do something. Like I want them type of friends where they have money and I don't have to keep buying them stuff or they don't have to keep asking me for stuff. Cause that gets really annoying when people ask you for stuff and then like. You give it to them and they continue to ask and ask. And that gets very annoying. Like, stop asking me for stuff. Like, you act like you can't get it yourself and do it yourself or work for it for yourself. So, that would be very annoying. But, and then another thing, when people do do stuff for you, they throw it up in your face. And I'm sick of all these adult women... And adults throwing stuff in my face and making me feel like I'm the bad guy because I didn't do that for them or take their side and stuff like that. I really hate that. I for real hate that. And there's a lot of adults out there that do that. There's a lot of adults that do that. And I'm like, don't be throwing stuff in my face because at the end of the day, you know I was there for you. So, a lot of dogs do that, and it's not cute either. Cause it make you feel like people you using people. But on other note, I did get in some trouble. Well, well, I really didn't get in trouble, but I did get in a little whatever you want to call it. I don't know what you even want to call it. I guess a, 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 a disagreement. I ain't gonna put. I ain't gonna say much because it's nobody's business. But I just hate. All I'm gonna say is. Oh yeah, we can get on that topic. So, I know there's a lot of people out there that don't like that dislike people that lie. And I know there's a lot of people out there that like don't like grown people that sit on. Social media and lie. And for real. Like for one. Let's get on the topic about social media. Social media. 
Ooh. Social media don't really care about you. You could post stuff on Facebook all day or long, but you're making a joke of yourself because you're posting it, but people don't really care. They're, people just want to see drama on Facebook so freaking bad and they twist stories up and make you look stupid. Like, Facebook really don't... People on Facebook don't really care what you post. You're just making a... Cl- uh, you just doing that for attention. And, like, for the people that comment under other people's stuff, y'all just want that for attention, too, because nobody didn't tell you to comment. I know you shouldn't post it because people are going to comment, but at the end of the day, if you're grown, you should just ignore it. At the end of the day... I don't like drama on social media. I don't really fool with people on social media. I don't really even get on social media like that. But I'm just saying, like, if you so-called claim you grown, why you posting stuff acting like a kid? You're supposed to be an adult. Like, come on now. You put your big girl panties on and act like an adult. And that goes for anybody out there. I don't care where you live or where you from, but that that goes for anybody out there that's grown, that's be posting on any social media, making a fool of yourself. Because who really out there going to help you? Who really out there cares about you? You might have best friends, you might have friends, but at the end of the day, are they going to save you? Are they going to bail you out of whatever you're going to be? Or are they, are they going to help you with anything? No, they're not. That's why I stay to myself. And people go, people go home know because, listen, I'm going to give y'all a tip. Your family is not really your family. They're your family, but some of your family is fake. And you have to see that through the dark side. People true colors start coming out. And once them people true colors start coming out, then you just got to back up. You just got to back up. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to get in a mix of anything. And you feel like your family is betraying you. And if you feel like your family don't care about you and they want to trade you for somebody else, you need to back up. You definitely need to back up. Because at the end of the day, family is family. You always got to have family back. Especially if that person raised you. Like, I, I don't care if you my boyfriend, my friend, or anything. But family comes first. And if I see my family in trouble, and if I see my family fighting or anything, best believe I'm going to hop in it. Because that's my family. And I'm going to protect my family. Alright? Because at the end of the day... You only get one family member. You can get many friends all all day, any day. And just because you don't really see that family member often, but that's still your family member. Like, I don't get people how they just betray their family. I don't get people how they just ignorant. Like, y'all ignorant and y'all only care about yourself. Like, I don't get how people can do that. And I get that y'all want to live your own life and do you and stuff like that. But that's good. But don't be out there dissing your family. Don't be out there talking bad about them. Because at the end of the day, the people that you're talking bad about too, they only looking at you and laughing at you. So, they only looking at you and laughing at you. So, therefore, nobody don't really care about you. Like, I'm sorry. I can't, I can't do that to my family. I love my family way too much. You might, you might not be in my life or stuff like that, but I'll always love you. Like, no. And, like, if anything happened to my family, I swear to God, I'll go war for it. I'll go war for my family. I'll really go war for my family because my family means the most to me like for real but another thing I'm gonna put this out there 
if you claim you got a job, you got a house, you're doing this, you're doing better, okay, good for you, bravo. But don't knock nobody else's house down. Don't ever. And yet, just because you're doing good, you claim, you claim you're doing good, you claim that you, you don't have nothing to worry about, okay, that's fine. But don't ever knock nobody hustle down because the person that's uh, trying might got more than you. So don't be around knocking people down and all this other kind of stuff because if you're knocking people down, you might as well go with them because the person you're knocking down is going to come up. It don't matter if you're a stripper. It don't matter if you work on the streets. Don't ever, my mama taught me, don't ever knock nobody hustle down as long as they're making money. As long as they're making money. As long as they're paying for whatever they got going on. It don't matter where you live. You can live in a freaking shelter for all I care for. But if you live in a shelter, best believe I'm going to help you. But you got to help yourself too. So therefore, don't think I'm going to do everything for you and you're not going to do nothing for yourself. Like, for real. But... Like I was saying, don't knock nobody hustle down. Don't be on Facebook running your mouth about somebody that's... If you were on Facebook, especially if you were on social media talking about the person, family, and talking about how they are, don't ever post nobody's business on social media. That's the lowest you can go. This is why I don't tell my business to nobody because once you tell your business to people, they want to post it. So, like, I'm like... That's the lowest you can go. And if you can post somebody's business, that means you can do anything. Like, don't ever post nobody's business because that's low. That's dirty. That's dumb. That's very childish. And if you post somebody's business, that will get your butt kicked. And the thing is, most females out here talk the most stuff and act like they won't get touched. They act like... They act like, oh, I'm going to just go in here and say this, or oh, I'm going to do this, or oh, I'm going to say this, or oh, I'm going to act like this. But they act like they won't get touched. Now, I ain't the fighting type. No, I only fight if I have to, so don't think I'm a fighter type. Only been in three fights my whole life. Well, no, two actually. So, don't think I'm a fighter type. I only fight if I have to, and I only fight for, for my family. But... Like I was saying, people think they won't get touched out in these streets. And you think you're not going to get touched by running your mouth? What you think? And then you running your mouth to the wrong people that you know that's going to touch you? Like, what's the point in that? And the one thing I hate... If you're going to post something, you might as well leave it up there because everybody already saw what you post. Don't post something, then delete it. Because if you already post it, you might as well keep it up there because everybody already saw what you post. And everybody already saw, read the comments and everybody else saw this and saw that. So if you're going to post something, just keep it. But if you delete it, I'm going to automatically think you scared or you got a guilty conscience or something. Cause I ain't gonna delete nothing. Whatever I put, whatever I say once, I can say it twice, and I can say it in person. And I can back my stuff up too. Cause I'm, I'm never, I never took an L. So therefore, if I post it, I'm gonna keep it up there so everybody can see. And whatever, cause who's gonna touch me? Nobody. And the thing is, another thing is, if you got somebody on block, one. Th oh my gosh, I hate this. If you got somebody on block and, <clears throat> oh, so I'm eating more of these fries than I am. The burger, these fries are good. But if you got somebody on block and you just are running your mouth on social media, but the person's blocked. The person can't even defend itself because you got the person blocked. And then you got all these comments and stuff under your post, what you're saying about the person. And they saying stuff and the person not even there to defend themselves. Because you got the person blocked. You can at least unblock the person and post what you got to post. Because if you, that made me feel like you're a pussy. Because if you can't post, if you can't unblock me, I hate when people block me. Like, I really hate when people block me. Because I really think blocking is for pussies. And I'm sorry, but it is. I'm sorry, but it is. I mean, yes, I block some people. 
but I'll block them because there's stalkers out there now, dude. That's the only way I block, and that's okay. But you keep just gonna block me because we're arguing or we're fighting or we're not friends. That make me feel like you're saying something behind my back. And don't think I'm not gonna know what you say because there's always a lot of people that's watching you. There's always a lot of people that's gonna see what you're posting and gonna screenshot it and send it to me. You're not gonna know who or when or where. But there's always gonna be people watching everywhere. And then you're always gonna have somebody that's gonna say something to you about it. Since I'm not there to defend myself, I always got people to defend me for me. I actually got friends. Yes, and I got a lot. And I got family. Oh, mm, excuse me, a lot. So, if you think I'm not going to know what you said, you got another thing coming. Because I know everything, I see everything, and I've done everything. So, like, I ain't going to be mad because whatever you post about me, okay, good for you. Because you must really like my name in your mouth. You must be using me for clout. Because, for one, you don't know nothing about me, honey. And for two, I don't even care about you. Because you're free, you can post what you want, but you ain't going to get no action out of me. The only action you're going to get from me is these hands, because this mouth don't do not do nothing. These hands do more than talking. But anyway, these females, these niggas, oh yeah, let's get on to the niggas. If you're into me, and if you're trying to fool with me, and if you're trying to talk to me, don't be, don't stop texting me. Because I'm, let me tell you something. I don't chase, chase nobody. I chase nobody. Okay? I chase nobody. And don't you think, oh, she's going to chase me. Oh, she's going to say this. Oh, she's going to do that. No. If you're not really into me, if you're only using me for sex and stuff like that, honey, this box is all, my, my poo poo. My, my poo poo is always on lock. I only had sex with one person, and I just lost my virginity on my birthday, around my birthday, so therefore, in my poo poo is on lock, until I'm in a relationship. Like, sorry, I'm not having sex until I'm in a relationship. Because if you're just going to fool me just to have sex, then how do you know you're not going to leave? Like, and I hate these niggas with the baby mama drama, and I hate all the baby mamas trying to get in, I hate all these freaking females that try to get in it, like, it gets on my nerves. Or it's always all these grown behind people that want to act like kids. Like, if you want to be act like kids so bad, you might as well stay as a kid, shoot me. Like, people really hurt my nerve. I think I'm getting full. I ate a lot. And before I made this video, I ate some of this, too. So, I already had this. I ate some of this one before I started this video. I just wanted to make a video. And this is my first my butt. This juice is so good. So whoever made this, y'all need to sponsor me because I drink, I can drink, I've been drinking five boxes of these. Every time I go to the store, I get a box. But yeah, I would think I'm full though. Yeah, I think I'm full. But yeah, I think I'm going to end this video here because I got my minutes. Should I save my burger before I put it in this box? I'm gonna eat this last fry. But yo, I'm gonna start back making videos. I got some reaction videos that I'm gonna make. Yeah, I got like two reaction videos. I gotta so stay tuned for that. And like y'all gonna have some videos out. I promise y'all. Y'all gonna have some videos. I promise. 
But like, it's hard. It's been very hard, and YouTube been very strict, and I just. It's just very hard to make videos, and YouTube is so strict now. So it's just very hard. But. Yeah. So that was my mukbang. And I hope y'all like this. And. Hopefully I have more. If you like this mukbang, if you want me to do more mukbangs, comment below what you want me to eat. Or what you want me. If you want me to do a mukbang, comment below what you want me to eat. Or what you want me to do. Or what you want me to talk about. And I'll do more mukbangs. I'm going to be cool. But. Yeah. And comment below what more videos you want me to do. And I'll do some more videos for you. And, ooh, and, other stuff. and follow me on Instagram at underscore dot lovely underscore skittles and I'm on Snapchat and my DJ and Yo, every time I eat, I get out of breath and I feel tired and yeah, that's my thing right now. But I see y'all in my next video and y'all gonna have more videos. Y'all better stay tuned. Y'all better comment. Don't comment, I'm gonna have to come for you, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye.